people. The Baloch would come and kill Hazaras, and Lashkar Jangi would go and kill other people that the Baloch would like to do that. More killing, more advantage to their nefarious designs, which needs to be prevented. Uh, yes, that kind of nexus is there, but uh, with the effective law enforcement, you must have seen from 29th June onward, when government of Balochistan called us in aid of civil power in Quetta, you must have seen there is a drastic reduction in uh, target killing. Yes, few have taken place, even after that also, but it is not uh, like that. You see the business is thriving, the markets are open. You saw 11th August, the 14th August, the 26th August, and subsequently all that, you know, strikes and all that, uh, they're, they're failing. Uh, I don't want to sort of embarrass them by saying that you have failed. No. There's a situation that the people of Quetta, people of Balochistan, they have understood their nefarious designs. They come and tell us as to where they're located. We, along with police, we go and get hold of them and hand them over to police. Good about, you know, 45 to 50 or little more people have been arrested, put on record. They're under trial now. And their foot soldiers, as they're already very few, they're further reduced. And they're very careful, very calculative, which has reduced their ability to radiate. And that, what is, that is what the aim is at the moment. So that instead of uh, going for a full hack, which we don't want to do, which have, we have not even done. Uh, there's no military operation going on in Balochistan. It is only the frontier corps and police which is working for the security duties and law enforcement and maintaining law and order. Uh, I'm sure the situation is going to improve. The last two questions. Firstly, is the border with Afghanistan totally protected, number one? Number two, I'm sure it's, it's a huge border, you know, 1,100 kilometers. Or 1,200 kilometers. So, and secondly, how are you going to convince the U.S. that Taliban leadership is not here? Or it's a, is it a case of U.S. convincing you that the Taliban leadership is here? It is that way. The point is that, you see, Americans or the U.S. forces or any other foreign forces have no right to come and operate in Pakistan. We have to operate. They tell us, we'll go for them. I see again, they tell us, we go for them. They don't tell us, we keep talking. We keep, you know, aggravating the perceptive war. That, 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 that has to be put right. With regard to the border, it is 1,200 kilometers of border. We have a stake to seal it. It is not only Taliban who may like to sneak in. It is these separatist uh, miscreants and terrorists who are sitting in Afghanistan, areas I've indicated. They try to move into Balochistan so that they meet their nefarious designs. We have to seal it. We have sealed it. Now, no border of the world has ever been sealed 100%. I would not like to boast for that. I would attempt it, but I can tell you that around 85% border has been sealed or maybe 90%. Yes, there could be certain sneaking in going from right and left, but large movements cannot take place. What have we done for this purpose? We have, uh, along all this border, 265 posts. We have half as much quick reaction forces and reserves. We have patrolling going on in the area. Every inch cannot be foot. Every inch cannot be seen, but there's a lot of presence in this area. I'll give you an example. Please let it go on air. There was uh, uh, much talked about the surge operation that was supposed to be taking place a little while back. That was done. And in that operation, we had sealed 400 kilometers of the border, not only the Helmut province, and the American forces, their headquarters, the regional command south, RC south as it's called, we have asked them repetitively if there is any single crossing taking place. They have given us absolutely the black and white on record that during that operation, no crossing, repeated no crossing has ever taken place. And they've been flying in that area, in Afghanistan territory, to monitor the border. Now, that is the kind of effectiveness that we are doing. What is happening on the other side? With all those forces over there, there are only 45 posts along 1,200 kilometers of the border with all those forces over there. Much more forces than we have all accumulated in Balochistan. They have much more forces in Afghanistan working. Additional induction has been taking, taking place. They have so many resources. There's no dearth of money with them. And uh, they have only 45 posts. And yet they keep saying that enough is not being done by Pakistan, which is only uh, tough luck. They are trying their best to do that. Do you think they are a bigger threat for Balochistan than Taliban? 
Taliban are no threat at the moment at all. Taliban are no threat. Now, you've asked me a question, uh, you see, uh, uh, have you stopped beating your wife? If I say yes, I've had it. If I say no, I've had it. The point is, they're not the threat. Even this uh, separatist movement is not a threat. You know, I must emphasize, they're very few, handful. And there's a lot with the nation of Pakistan. Pakistani nation has a lot to invest in Balochistan and in front of, against this onslaught of positive development that will come into Balochistan, this separatist movement is going to be flushed away. So it is not that way. Uh, people uh, like to compare it with few very nasty events of the history. There is no comparison between that movement and this movement. Thank you. Anything else you want to add, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is my sixth year. Sixth year in MC Bustan. In Quetta. In Quetta. I was the DIG. Our basic responsibility is the border security. And uh, we are better trained. Uh, not as good as the army and all, but we try to cut from it the execution. It is going to be a very difficult situation. And the army is actually uh, from August, 26th August, when, uh, in 2006, uh, from then on, the army is nowhere in Manchester. It is not there. In only two places they have batted. In fact, they decided that we, we bring in the frontier core in place of army. How do you like it? They said, please don't do it. Not that they don't like frontier core, they want a better protection over there. Now, they definitely might organize it. For example, in 